Christmas to my online family. Hope you guys are all doing well. Spending quality time with family, good health, and eating rice and chicken. Well, um, I decided to drop this video today as a Christmas special for me. I'll be showing you guys how I do how I did this spiral curl wig. And I'll just quickly list out the things I used in this video. I used the wig cap as you can see in the video, a mannequin head, I used some pins, I used um I used the hair extension, um, I used a moisturizing lotion, I used water, I used a hair gel. Um, yeah, that's just about it. Now let me tell you guys, this hair is so beautiful, but one thing about it is very fragile and it tangles a lot. So at first I was using the moisturizing lotion to detangle and just comb it out. But that was a big bad idea um, and everything was just tangling so I discovered the secret to this hair just use water so get a new pack of the extension and dip it in water first of all the first tip um, wring out some of the water cut off the band holding it at the top and dip it again the second time and that's it um, you can now section out the hair as much as you want and and this dries out very fast just so you know so once it dries out and you need to section out again you dip it back inside water and that's just it um there are two steps to this hair we have the knotless part on the lace closure and we have the crochet part i've really gone far at the crochet part i'm going to show you guys how i did it so i'm showing you two kinds of crochet pins this is the smaller one and this is the bigger one. I'll be using the smaller one because I don't want to create large holes in my cap. I want this wig to last for a long time. And this is just me passing the um, section braiding hair through the cap like so. Then after doing that, I'm going to take another size, same size with the one I passed. And I'm going to braid as if I'm braiding on... Um, a human says so basically the one I passed through just serves as an anchor so um, that's what I'm doing and if I feel it's too small I'm going to add some braids to it just like um, feeding method the thing about using this hair extension is that you can't braid too um, tight you can, and you can also braid too loose um, it can be quite frustrating trust me I was at some point Once I get to the to the um, to the tip, I grab another braid and just check if I'm okay with where I am. Then I section out a little bit of it and seal it up by tying like say two or three times. So onto the next part of this wig making. This is the lace closure. I'm using a seven by seven already bleached. I bleached the knots, and this is just me placing it on the cap. I would advise that if you're a beginner when it comes to making wigs that you should always always place your lace closure and attach it before you start doing anything but I'm um, not a beginner so I um, have my way of doing things and this is just me I'm using the line on the mannequin I don't know if you guys can see it to get um, my middle part so this wig is going to be a middle part and I want to section out how many rows and that are going to be on one side I decided to do four which is what I'm doing now so in total I'm going to have eight four on one side and four on this side and then one row at the back just like so and don't worry if the parts don't look clean I'm going to clean them out with hair gel as I go on and I place the lace closure back onto the three cap Onto the top part which has the lace closure, I'll be showing you guys how I do my feeding braids or not less. Um, but before then, I use the I use the brick layering technique to pack my hair, which is what I'm showing you guys now. So basically, in the brick layering technique, a braid is going to fall in between two braids, which is what I'm showing you guys here. 
I don't know if you guys understand, but you can type brick layering hair pattern hair pattern tutorial on YouTube and you will see so many videos on it. I'll be using this um, hair gel to clean out the hair as I part. And I'm going to section out hair using the two braids at the bottom as my landmark. Each hair I'm going to divide into three triangles, just like so in the video. Um, I'd advise that you pause this video or you um, rewind it so many times so you can get what I'm doing. So what I do is I braid it like two times on its own, then I start the feeding method. And this feeding method also creates that not less effect. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Depending on the size you're going for, you keep adding. Also, depending on the size you're going for, you're going to make your sections out braiding hair extensions as big as you want or as small as you want. I hope I am being understood. But I'm just going to speed up this video. But it's quite um, self-explanatory. If you don't understand, like I said before, just rewind the video and watch it as many times as possible so you can get it. So, I would also say as you do this, you should try to talk in if you can. Yeah, but sometimes it's hard to do the talking method here when you're working with smaller sections of hair. So basically, when I, what I mean by talking here is that you try to hide the hair on the lace closure or the hair on the human's head inside the breathing hair, which is what I'm trying to do here. This is another view and I'm just going to stop talking, speed it up for you guys to see. Another year is gone, but baby all I know is that I want you here under the mistletoe. We know that months will buy. Now you're a part of me. You are my only wish under the Christmas tree. All I want is that the year ends like it started. Nothing else matters. Um, I know you guys can see the gaps yeah the gaps just before um, the lace closure here so I'm going to use braids to cover it up normally I should do that before doing the knot less before braiding on the lace closure but I wasn't sure my uh, braiding hair was going to be enough so I wanted to do the lace closure first then work with whatever I have on this part so basically the technique for this part is just the same as doing your crochet part the crochet part the only difference here is that i changed my crochet pins to something bigger the smaller one might not be able to pass through that um the edge of the lace because it's really really thick so i changed my crochet part to a bigger one but still not as big as the first one i showed you guys so basically everything here is the same you pass the anchor braid and you braid so that's what I'm going to be doing until I fill up all the gaps right around the lace closure okay. which is the final stage of the hair trimming and styling and I'm just good it doesn't require a lot of trimming to be honest because don't forget we didn't feather the attachments or the braiding hair so I'll be applying some hair mousse and hair oil if you have but just little and that's it 
don't forget to apply some powder on your the um, the back of your lace closure just so it matches your skin better I can't do that here because this is the client's wig I only got permission to style it so this is the final look I hope you guys like the hair and Merry Christmas once again and we look forward to a prosperous new year and until next time guys stay safe